In uh, this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we'll learn the shell tool to carve into an object. We'll do a review of the circular pattern. This is the same part I just uh, copy and move upside down. But if we look at it, this cutout has been repeated three times. And this is a shell, you see. So the shell is here. So if I was to mute that shell, we would get this. Let's get started. File new. We'll stay in inches, right plane, and here we're going to start by using a revolve. So line, and the first one I'll do is a center line. I'll use that one as an axis to revolve around. Select the line for construction to make it a guide. Line, and the offset will be the hole. So we'll do a, something like this, and then I can start drawing. So I'll go line again. Here we'll get a little fillet. We could do tangent arc. Voila. Another, but a small fillet this time. So maybe 0 0.025. And we could do this one too at the same time. And here we want some wider one. So we'll go a little bit larger here. 0 0.1 is a little bit too much could move this up so it's not too tall just by dragging and now we can do it's uh, this hole is really big so I'll take the whole sketch and I'll move it to the right a little bit and now uh, this could move a little bit more I think we'll try the revolve say okay and that's not too bad. Now we want to do a cutout so we can use this plane, this face, sketch, control 8. And to do a slot cutout, you can just use the slot tool here or use a line and offset it. But this is faster. And you click and you drag. Right, you don't want to go too deep. I would stop somewhere here. And now we can go extrude cut and go through all then here we can use a fillet make sure you're in the default fillet click on that face and we need something much smaller yeah 0 0.025 finally we're going to repeat this two times circular pattern around this the feature to uh, repeat will be the cut and the fillet. We're almost done. And lastly, I usually don't really like things like this. So we could go back, edit, control 8, and we could just bring this in a little bit, just a hair. And to carve, we will use shell. You click here to say which face you're carving from. Show preview. If you want this face to be thicker, you can pick this face. And you can say at that level, I want a little bit more meat. So you could go 0.15. Voila. And the uh, rendering was really um, simple. I went soft touch. I used the black here. I just used the face put it exactly where I want and for the rest I use the glass gloss I think and I think it was this one but we'll go with the clear this time yeah I use the revolve I could actually use the whole body and then I put the so the black soft touch inside and I think I use the circular pattern the cut and the fillet. Voila. Perspective. For the lighting, uh, I use basic scene three point bed. You double click. This is not touching the floor, so we can go render tool, edit scene, and say offset to geometry. I think we're good. Then I can just go 
final render or preview first. And sometimes with thick glass here, you'll get black line. It might, this might be refraction, or it, I don't think I assign. It's because it's too thick. So the way you can get rid of this, it's option. Oh no, I already have it. Usually this is at eight and eight. And this will fire more rays. So it must be something else, the black. Because even 16 is a lot. Actually much better. It was the refraction. And the final render is much more truthful. So here is a much better result. And uh, the only thing I did, instead of using the regular class, I use a thick gloss. So it treats the wall better. You still get the refraction, but uh, with a thick glass, uh, that's what you need here.